Let's see how to blend your Facebook and Instagram social media data on Google Looker Studio so you can create cross-channel social media reports. So I will start with this tutorial. And the first thing is that you will connect your social media data on a Google Looker Studio report. In this case, I'm connecting Instagram and Facebook data, but you can also bring Twitter, TikTok, and so on. The next thing that you want to make sure is to use the correct metrics. You want to display metrics that are shared across the social media tools, like shares, engagements, followers, and impressions. These metrics are shared on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and every social media platform. And also, as we are combining metrics, we will combine dimensions. And the recommendation for you is using dates because dates are universal. Dates work on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Google Analytics, and so on. With this uh, clear, now the next step is combining my data. So I will select the tables I want to combine and I will do a right click. Next, I will go to blend data. And then with this blended data table, I will drag and drop it down underneath the original ones because this data is overlapping the original tables. Now I see my data blended in this table, but there is a problem. This shows that I have a million impressions for Facebook and for Instagram, so it doesn't make sense. I will change this data source by clicking on the pencil icon to edit this blended data source. Here on my blended data source, I want to expand this model to better visualize my join. And by default, Google Looker Studio is using a cross join to combine my data. I will change that. So I will go to cross join and instead of cross join, I will choose a left outer join. I will choose left outer and now I am required to use join keys. I need to bring the dates from Instagram and Facebook so we can match this data. First, I will start with Instagram. So I will choose profile date and profile date represents Instagram dates. And in the field that shows missing, now I need to add Facebook. So here for Facebook, the dimension that represents the date for Facebook is called date. And now click on save. And again, click on save and click on close. So our table is already working uh, correctly. And now I have blended my data, but I will pull or I will bring more metrics. So I will go and I will click on add a metric. And on a metric, I will choose page total impressions that represent Facebook impressions. Here, I will change the sorting of my table because I want to display my data by date, not by impressions. And this will help me because I can visually identify if my original data from my original tables is working as well on the blended data table. So instead of impressions, I will choose profile date and I will do something else. I know because I know these data sources that profile date belong to Instagram, but most people don't. So I will change the name of these fields, of these metrics. So again, I will go to edit this blended data source and I will change the name of the Instagram metric to Instagram impressions. And for Facebook, I will change it to Facebook impressions and I will click on save. Now my table is, it's easier to read. Now, I have a column for Instagram impressions, a column for Facebook impressions. Now I will create a column that combines impressions from both platforms. So I will go to click on add a metric. Then I will click on create a field. And now I will create the formula. So I will create a formula that combines the total impressions for Facebook and Instagram. To do this, I will aggregate my data by using the sum function. Remember, always when your data is not matching, I recommend you to use this formula. So I will do the summatory of Instagram plus the summatory of Facebook, and I will click on apply. And now we will have a table that will combine uh, impression from both tools. But first I will expand this table to visualize all the metrics. Here, I already have a table that is blending this data that is combining and it is doing everything fine, but I will do something else. The next thing I will do is that I will create a scorecard. So what I will do, or I, what I did here, is that I will drag and drop the field that I created on the canvas of Google Looker Studio and I will, it will create a, a scorecard by default. And I will create a comparison date range. So instead of none, I will choose previous period and I will go to apply. And now I am comparing me, my data against last period. And I can see that in total for Facebook and Instagram, I have 11% more impressions. I, I am more visible. Now I will copy and paste this scorecard and I will create a time series. So this time series, you only need to go to the top right corner of Google Looker Studio and I will choose the chart 
a type. And the chart type will be times series chart. Here for time series, I will hide the chart type selector. And now I can change the dimension that says invalid. I will change it for profile date, which is the date that we are using in common for, for this combination. Now I have a time series, but I will make it bigger. I have a time series that is showing me over time impressions for Facebook and Instagram. I will remove first the comparison from pre previous periods to none because for time series, they are not as useful. And I will click on apply. And now I have a time series with the total impressions of both platforms. What I will do for the same time series, I want to display separately Facebook and Instagram. So I will go with Instagram impressions and instead of total impressions, I will do Facebook impressions. And that's it. We have a table that is combining my Instagram and Facebook impressions, a time series that is separating them and a scorecard that is showing the total visibility of my social media efforts. This is how you can blend your social media data on Google Looker Studio.